Hi Radio World and welcome to my review for Doctor Who, The Three Doctors. This is the 10th anniversary episode from the classic series. I'm going to review a couple of the classic Doctor Who episodes, my first and my favourite. But in the fact that the 50th anniversary course, the Day of the Doctor, is only 8 days away, really looking forward to seeing that. So in the meantime, I figured I'd do a load of reviews, talking about some of my favourite episodes from the classic series. So let's start with one of my personal favourites, The Three Doctors. Why did you break up the Now this anniversary episode first appeared on the 3rd of December 1972 to 20th of January 1973. Uh, at the time this was the third Doctor's Adventures, uh, John Perry of course, fantastic actor, really well good, um, well acted Doctor, definitely I liked his personality, I liked his uh, version of the character, did a really good job. And this was the very first time ever that they actually uh, did a crossover episode between the other Doctors, with Patrick Charlton, the second Doctor, and of course William Holm, the first Doctor. The still of this episode follows an alien force that comes to Earth, it attacks the unit headquarters and it's basically going after the Doctor personally. The Doctor has no choice but to call upon his own people, the Time Lords, in assistance in trying to find out what is this you know, alien, what does it want for me and basically help me in a sense. The Time Lords are also having a crisis on their home world and the only thing they can do is cross the streamlines between the other incarnations of the Doctor and send Patrick Trout, the second Doctor, and William Hartnell, the first Doctor, in to help him and to figure out what's going on. Therefore, breaking the first rule of time meeting your other carnation of yourself and during the process uh, the Doctor gets transported to another universe, uh, a separate universe and the Doctor's must face a secret villain that has planned this. This is truly is a well written, well structured um, uh, storyline, it's a four part episode, really well done, just very creative, very imaginative, dialogue was well done, acting was great, uh, some of the special effects are a bit dated now of course being on back on time but uh, I thought they were done appropriately, there's definitely was a budget to these episodes and they kind of just explored and kind of adapted you know the uh, Doctor Who mythology even more of the Time Lords being in the episode and for the very first time ever I think for a generation of people like myself with the 50th anniversary coming up in eight days you know it's just a chance for people to kind of like you know what happens if this Doctor met the other Doctor in a sense because each Doctor has their own personalities and their own kind of style and their own kind of mannerisms in terms of that so you always wonder what would you know, one version of the Doctor say to another version of the Doctor in a sense. It's, it's, it's interesting that kind of concept and that's why I'm so excited for the 50th anniversary myself and I can imagine at the time seeing for the very first time ever the idea of a crossover between uh, three different Doctors is just like mind-blowing for some fans at the time and um, I can generally see how excited and how it's how much of an impact this made on them in terms of the Doctor Who community. Now the Doctors in this special we have of course John Perry, the third Doctor, the current Doctor of the, of the time, uh, he did a really good job I think, I really like his personality in terms of being a bubbly kind of, you know, smart, kind of, you know, professor like, you know, sons of a Doctor in a sense. Uh, from my personal experience, from what I gathered from his character. I really liked how he kind of approached certain situations. He was uh, definitely uh, well to uh, kind of strike back in the sense of, you know, uh, your conversations. He was definitely willing to get his hands dirty, especially within some of the uh, kind of fight sequences in this uh, <laughs> in this four-parter. And uh, I really liked the conversations between back and forth between the other doctors and um, him and Joe Grant, his uh, you know assistant, which is uh, quite interesting. I like how he reacts to Brigadier, of course the uh, you know current Brigadier Stewart. But Patrick Trout in the special, also the second Doctor, I think he did a really good job coming back as the character again. He, he just nailed it, bang on. It's really funny, very uh, kind of whimsical, very kind of a bumbling clown in a sense of or hobo in a sense, comical hobo maybe some of those lines. You know, I love his kind of like the you know flute. I, I, I like the fact that he kind of the reference you know over Avengers with the Cybermen, the Yetis. And and, you know, his kind of musical stride with the flute and, you know, he just kind of, his kind of mannerisms, you know, especially between certain actors are just fantastic, really well done. Now, speaking of William Harden, unfortunately he only managed to do five minutes out of the entire, you know, four-parter. This is due to the fact he's just getting old, in all fairness, you know, he just can't really do what he wanted to do anymore. And he came back as a kind of courtesy to Doctor Who, as a kind of the, 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 the godfather, the, uh, the, the guy that started it all, in a sense, you know, of uh, Doctor Who relations. So, I really liked his kind of, you know, his dialogue and his lines between the other two Doctors. And they're definitely the more, the smarter one, the more kind of sensible one. I really liked that. I think his presence on screen was really fantastic. It's a genuine shame, this is his last appearance. 
of the actual version of the Doctor in the Doctor universe, being the fact, of course, he passed away uh, some couple of years after uh, doing this, uh, course, anniversary episode. But, uh, of course, his legend would never be forgotten. And the actual villain this episode, I thought, was very well done, very appropriate for a kind of mythology, uh, kind of, you know, a Doctor universe one. This is definitely an interesting one for the Time Lords and expanding the universe in a sense. I'm not going to give away too much, but in fact, if you want to watch this for your classic Doctor episode for people that haven't got a chance to watch it or, you know, haven't experienced this, you know, the younger versions of the Doctor uh, mythology stories, uh, this is definitely something uh, you should check out. It's definitely something worth uh, owning and watching for sure. But the villain I felt was really well done. Let's just say it links into the Time Lord mythology more. It adds on to certain facts that we were aware at the time. And it's, I think it's just a very appropriate villain, in all fairness. I really liked his uh, style in terms of the, you know, the, the, the clothing that he wears and, you know, the way he spoke to the Doctor as, you know, very kind of equal mind intelligence and that type of thing. And oh, the fact he had some ruthless moments, definitely for sure. If you do not obey him, you will like, you know, kind of like get his hands and kind of grip you in a sense and that type of, and that type of thing. And at the same time, he, he kind of felt sorry for him in ways because he was kind of put into the situation that he can't get out of. And Doctor episode is an absolute classic four-part episode. It's the 10th anniversary special. It features the first three Doctors all in one episode for the very first time in, in the history of the show. Of course, you had very three strong actors, including a very strong villain, a very strong storyline. Um, you know, just you know, the Time Lords, and then you got Joe Grant, you got uh, Brigadier Stewart, you got some pretty strong alien creatures. Uh, the actual practical effects I felt well done. Special effects a little bit dated in some places, but you know, it's the 70s, they're all going to be, you know, very dated, of course. Uh, this is definitely one for you, uh, Duck Two fans out there, to go and treat yourself. It's definitely worth watching, it's definitely worth checking. Out, if you want to owning, of course. Uh, if you pick up the DVD, you get some really cool special features, which talks about in depth a bit more about the process of making this one and the storyline to it. So definitely check it out. The Three Doctors, absolutely fantastic. That's been my review for the Three Doctors. I hope you enjoyed watching this review. What did you think? Do you think it was good? Do you think it's valid? Any opinions? Comment down below. So, in the meantime, Andrew from Media from Grand TV. Bye.